and welcome to this week's announcements. Join our praying chaplains on Sunday, December 6th at 1 p.m. for our monthly gratitude circle and start your week off in a vibration of gratitude. And then on Tuesday, December 8th at 7 p.m., you're invited to join Dr. Dan Stasiak for his Learn to Meditate class. By the end of the class, you'll be able to go through the steps of superconscious meditation from the Institute of the Himalayan Tradition and practice them at home. Dr. Dan's class is offered on a love offering basis via Zoom. Well, would you look at that? We've covered Unity's fourth principle with our first two announcements. There is divine power in meditation and affirmative prayer, which increases our awareness of our oneness with God. This year's Christmas theme, Holy Pause, the power of simplicity, is also centered in Unity's fourth principle. You'll hear more about our Christmas Eve and Burning Bowl services next week. But for now, just know that our worship planning team is committed to creating meaningful ways to bring Christmas to life in the midst of this pandemic. Our annual blessing tree is up in the foyer as well as online. We are once again supporting family elder care, families in transition, foster village, and our own UCOH Benevolence Fund. Whether you come by the church or donate online, please know that some of our gifts are due back by December 15th. So there is some urgency around supporting these organizations and ensuring the people they serve have a blessed Christmas. In addition to the angel cards, we have a special tree in the foyer where you can leave prayers, affirmations, and gratitudes. If you can't come by the church but wanna put something on that tree, or just have questions about the blessing tree for 2020, please email communications at unityhills.org. We all know how challenging the holidays can be, and especially for those experiencing financial difficulties. This year may bring added challenges for those affected by the pandemic. If you would like to bless an individual or family within our community, please register online and someone will contact you. This may be inviting someone over for a meal, providing grocery store gift cards or Christmas gifts, or providing monetary support. Whatever spirit leads you to do is right and perfect. And if you or someone you know within the church could use holiday assistance, please let us know right away. You can contact the church at communications at unityhills.org, or we have a form online. <laughs> All of our blessing information can be found at unityhills.org forward slash blessings 2020. Speaking of blessings, don't forget that our lap quilts, lovingly made by the mother of UCO, Joan Howes, are on sale at a 25% discount as a fundraiser for our Youth of Unity, or YOU. Whether you buy a quilt for yourself or as a gift or both, You'll be blessing our youth of unity in the process. Visit unityhills.org slash quilt for more details. Did you know that Amazon has a program called Amazon Smile that lets you choose a nonprofit organization and then a percentage of all your purchases goes to that organization? If you are an Amazon shopper, please take a moment to set up Amazon Smile. It's an easy way to support our spiritual home financially. Visit smile.amazon.com. Sign in with your Amazon credentials. Choose or search for Unity Church of the Hills and then select Unity Church of the Hills as your charity. Then make sure you shop through smile.amazon.com. You can even update your smartphone app to be the Amazon Smile app if that's how you shop. And for the record, this announcement was not endorsed by Amazon. <laughs> it was, however, endorsed by Unity Church of the Hills. Yes, it was. <laughs> Shifting gears from shopping back into the holy pause of Christmas, you are invited to join Reverend Belinda Lightheart, Reverend Mary Grace Sorensen, and several LUTs for our annual Reflection and Remembrance Service on Wednesday, December 9th at 7 p.m. This is a time to pause, breathe, and to honor our loved ones who have transitioned along with all of the emotions around their passing. Even if you have not experienced the loss of a loved one, many have experienced some kind of loss this year. We invite you to join us in this sacred space as we honor and heal together. The sanctuary will be open for a limited number of in-person congregants, and it will be streamed to Facebook, YouTube, and our website. 
please RSVP if you plan to join us in the sanctuary. Masks will be required and we will follow safety protocols. There will be angels to adorn the tree during a special ceremony. You can download angels at home for your own tree or come by the church to pick up some prior to the service. Learn more on our UCO calendar and join us for this holy pause on Wednesday, December the 9th. Mm, lucky for me, holy pauses aren't always serious and silent. Spirit loves to sing, dance, and be in joy. As spiritual beings, we are invited to pause from the doozy of a year it has been and center ourselves in merriment with this year's holiday extravaganza. Mark your calendar for Sunday, December 20th at 5.30 p.m. It will be live streamed to Facebook, YouTube, and our website. And it will be a holy pause of fun because we most definitely need a little Christmas. Finally, our, last, our latest episode of the One Power podcast features an interview with Dr. Roger Teal, this Sunday's guest speaker. In the episode, Tammy Lorraine and Rick Busby talk with Dr. Roger about answering the call. It's a fascinating interview and it's worth a listen. Find this episode as well as past episodes at onepowerpodcast.com. And you can help us spread the word by leaving a review or rating the podcast on your favorite podcast player. Well, that's it for announcements. We hope you find time for a holy pause or two <laughs> or three or 10 uh, as you move about your week. Peace and blessings, everyone. Oh, um, <laughs> see you in the foyer soon. Foyer. Foyer. I'm going to start that one over. And, <laughs> and also, hold on. Sam, what are you eating? Oh, good. <laughs> My eye was twitching and I was, like, I was like blinking and blinking and blinking. I'm like, oh, this is going to look like so weird. Did you guys hear the pig in the background? Your dog? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I did mute at one point, but I don't know how much it helped. <laughs> hi, Sam. There's another Sam. Sam. Hi. Oh, wait, and Donna went to go get her dog. <laughs> <laughs> okay, here's Sadie. Sadie's and Sam's. Yay! <laughs>